Welcome and thank you for taking a few moments to learn about the Atrix Complete ACA e-filing service. Once you have launched the Atrix ACA product from your host software, you'll be guided through a few steps to set up your company. In the first question, you will be asked whether you want to do a test drive, which you can do at any time, or are you in fact beginning to file? You will verify your company EIN, your company address information. You will then be asked whether or not you are filing for your own company or are a third party tax preparer. You will have to identify whether you are filing for your company or are a designated government entity filing on behalf of an employer. You can select which method, if any, you would like to choose to truncate social security numbers as a security measure. You will then have to identify whether you have a single filing or have multiple departments and or locations and are filing multiple databases which would be merged at the end of the process. Once that information is complete, your employee information will then be uploaded into the ACA preparer and you will have to answer a few questions in order to complete the 1094 section which is what is filed to the federal government. The first question is whether you provide any self-insurance coverage for all or part of your employee base. Do you have any foreign addresses in your database? You'll need to verify the total number of Form 1095Cs submitted with this transmittal. You'll need to identify whether you are the authoritative transmittal for this EIN. If the answer is yes, you'll need to indicate whether or not all of your employees that are required to be filed for are included in this filing. If the answer is yes, the number that appears in the lower box here should match the same number that is in the top box. Once these questions are answered, you can see that the information on the right hand side of the form is filled in automatically. Once your company information has been set up, the employee information will need to be verified. In step two, the employee contact information is verified. That appears in the box in the top left hand side of this preparer. You can see that social security numbers, addresses, and other various information that will be tied to these employees are included. Once the employee contact information is complete, if your company provides any self-insured coverage for employees, we'll have a list of dependents associated with it. The information below would need to be completed for all 12 months of the coverage for each of those individuals. Those individuals that are not covered by self-insurance will not appear in this box. In this step, you will identify those employees who have chosen to accept their 1095s via electronic delivery only. This means they will not receive a paper copy of the 1095 and will access their 1095 via a secure website. In the final step, you will verify the employee coverage status. In the top box on the right hand side, you can see that if the employee's coverage did not change throughout the entire year, you will simply complete the first box for the all year with a coverage code and or safe harbor code. If that coverage has changed throughout the course of the year, say a rate increase or employee contribution difference, then each month will have to be completed individually. Once all of this information is completed, you simply choose the level of service you would like to use. Of course, the complete e-filing service has the best value and will complete all of your filing requirements. You can choose to receive a CD for off-site storage and or additional backup. You will be given a list to review of all of the forms that will be completed during this process. You can see the federal 1094 and 1095C will be completed, the employee copies will be completed, and you have the option of printing an employer copy for storage at your facility. You now have the option to view each of these forms in their entirety or simply spot check and take a look at each one. The first form which is being displayed is the 1094 form which is the federal form filed to the IRS. You can view each page individually You then have the option of printing or simply moving forward. Your federal 1095 C's are then presented. Again, you can review each of these individually if you choose. 
and then we'll have the option of printing a records copy uh, moving on. The instructions are provided for your convenience so you can read them and review them, print them and provide them to your employees, or simply move forward. Your employer 1095Cs are for your copies and can be printed. And finally, the employee 1095Cs, these are actual copies of the 1095C that your employees will receive. Again, these can be reviewed individually or you can choose to print them. Once that has happened, you will be transferred to the Atrix eFile Center and you will log in using the credentials that you have created yourself at eFile.atrix.com. In order to set your credentials, you would go to eFile.atrix.com, simply select the Enroll button at the top of the page, and complete the form which is presented to you. Answers to virtually all your questions about ACA filings can be accessed at partner.atrix.com slash ACA. This site is available for you at any time and can provide you information about printing, about pricing, about federal requirements. Thank you very much for taking a few moments to learn just how simple it is to file your ACA forms using the Atrix Complete eFile service.